Oh boy, do I have some updates for you guys today. <laughs> oh, there's number one. There's number one. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure if you're clicking on the video, a lot of you guys, it's because of the title. Don't worry, we're going to be talking about that stuff for the majority of today's video. Woo! That's like a bunch of reasons all rolled into one. We're going to be talking today about why I love my R6, why I love the R6 in general. Oh man, but there's there's some important updates I got for you guys. Some, some, uh, some big news. And there's a reason that I'm making this video today. And that's because it's official. It's official. I am selling. I, I no. I'm not selling. My bike is sold. My R6 is 100% sold. Not just like listed. Like I found a buyer. No. Like payment has been made for my R6. There's a there's a couple more. One. Maybe, there's just one one big thing that I need to still do on the bike that I'm going to be doing in the next week. I'm just waiting on supplies. Uh, and after that, I'm going to be delivering the bike to the new owner. I'm so excited for the guy. Like, I didn't even get a chance to list this thing publicly. I told you guys that I had just been talking with subscribers that were interested in the bike and trying to sell it to a subscriber first before I listed it publicly on, you know, Craigslist. Before I even got a chance to list it publicly, I had someone contact me. You know, my R1 was sold to a subscriber who lives out in the Houston area. And now my R6 is gonna be sold, now is sold to a subscriber out in the Houston area. So next week, as soon as I get the supplies, I'm gonna be changing the color on the wheels to complete the new look of the R6. And then I'll be delivering the bike. And I'm, I'm just so excited for him, guys. And that's why I'm making this video today. I wanted to go over all the reasons that I, I really love this bike and I love the R6 in general. Because I, I make the, you know, those little why I hate my blah, blah, blah bike. Most of the time it's just like nitpicky things that annoy me or are like little things that you may not like about a certain bike. I don't really make uh, videos going over all the things that I love about my bikes. And I feel like I should do that because there's a lot I love, like those are just like minor little things. I have these bikes because I love them. Now, as soon as we get around this slow as heck Honda CRV, we will talk about all the reasons I love my Yamaha R6. And some of these will be about the R6 in general, why I love the R6 compared to other bikes. Gosh, gee, come on. Some of these will be about the R6 in general, but most of them will be about why I love my R6. Number one of the reasons I love the R6 is it's honestly a really comfortable bike to ride. You know, I, I've ridden a lot of sport bikes, most of them leader bikes, which just doesn't help my argument at all. But I like the R6. It's a comfortable bike to ride. From the uh, the actual ride quality, like how it feels on the street, to the seat on it. What I got on here helps a lot. I got a Louis Moto seat cover. It's custom. It's got like that suede liner with the uh, the grippy grippy sides that helps a lot with uh, the comfort even more but in general it's it's just comfortable like it's a uh, the tank is a really nice shape this is sounding very weird now your legs go around it nice and it's a it fits a lot of people really well it doesn't matter if you're really short five feet tall or you're six foot four I'm six foot two 200 pounds and I feel great on it. Yes, like maybe in some ways it feels just slightly smaller than I would prefer, but I don't feel too big on it. It's a, a comfortable bike to operate. I keep forgetting that this bike doesn't have clutchless downshift. <laughs> now, reason number two that I like this bike, it's got all the power that you really could casually want. <laughs> this is like the hardest thing to talk about because Everyone will argue different ways on it. I got another leader bike. I got the S1000 because I was I was missing the power of the leader bike. I was missing the general feel of a leader bike. So that's not to say that if you have a 600, you're never going to want more power. But for 99% of people, 99% of the time, a 600 is going to have all the power to make you happy 
having fun on the street. Like, th it, this thing pulls. It pulls hard. It feels like a really powerful sport bike because it is. And if you're looking for a bike that could be your long-term go-fast bike, this could be it. And that brings me to point number three, reason number three. It's got so many different use cases. Like, it doesn't matter whether you want a commuter, doesn't matter if you want uh, like a street slaying bike or if you want a dedicated track bike that you can tear apart and thrash around. The R6 is just an all around great bike. It's so reliable. And that's what makes it good as a commuter or all the way to a full, full track bike. Reason number four, the aftermarket mod support. Here's the thing. This is a 2017, it's the new generation of the R6, but almost everything about it is the same exact bike as Yamaha has been making since what, 2007? I, like, I haven't looked at numbers, but I'm pretty sure it's the number one selling 600cc sport bike. This thing has been getting mod, mod support for over a decade, and just about all of it will fit this bike. I got a lot of questions about the, uh, the Leo Vinci exhaust when I put it on here because uh, if I remember correctly like all of the exhaust companies weren't listing 2017 as a compatible bike for their current or previous generation R6 exhaust even though they fit up perfectly without inter any interference with anything no like all the bol bolts matched up perfectly to everywhere no uh, obstruction with new fairies or anything like that it all was a perfect matchup and that's the case with like a lot of the parts on this bike so it's really easy to find stuff that you like um, and there's just so much out there that you can get reason number five is uh the exhaust sound the, the sound of a 600 especially on this one always hold a, a, a special place in my heart i love the sound of it it's like freaking butter but when you have those pops it's just like whoo it gets you. Now there's a lot of great sounds on motorcycles. A ton. <laughs> See what I mean? It sounds good. I don't think I even need to say any more about that. If you want to hear more of the exhaust, uh, check out my exhaust videos from when I installed this thing. I'll link those down in the description. It just sounds good. And there's so many different options. Like I said, the mod support is crazy. There's so many different exhausts you can get this for the, get for this thing to get the exact perfect sound for you. And if it's not the sound that you care about, well, you can get the, uh, the exact look, shape, performance for you. Let's make a little turny, turny, turn, turn down here at the boat dock. All right, all right, all right. There's like three other videos that I still need to make on this thing. Still gotta make the uh, wheel video. Still gotta make the mods video. Still gotta make the R6 versus S1000 video. Is that it? Can you guys think of any other videos that I need to make on this thing? Let's talk about the next reason. I love my R6 because it's mine. It, everything about it. There's so much custom work that I've that I've done on this. And I'm not talking about like custom fabrication. It's my own. I have a, des a fairing design on here that I designed myself. I have the levers that I get on all my sport bikes because I, I love the way they feel. It helps me feel at home on the bike. I got my personal design for the seat cover. Something that uh, Louis Moto tells me everybody wants on their bike ever since I uh, put it on here. The color scheme, the flash, the brake lines, the uh, modified windscreen, the <laughs> the motor nasty brake reservoir cover, how I have my fender eliminator set up to the custom lights in the rear that I wired. Everything about it, it's, it's, it's my own. Yeah, it may not be like a custom fabricated motorcycle, but over the past couple of years, I've made this thing my own and it feels great. Now, I know there's a cop pulling some over here before, so I'm just gonna take a little chill pill until I get through here to make sure he's not still here. As we talk about the next reason that I love my, well, this is more of a generalized. This is a reason that I love the R6. Because it's pretty much essentially unchanged since 2007, you can get one of these used for like $5,000. If you're not too picky about the year or you know how many miles it has. But a, a generally good condition R6 is essentially a modern sport bike because they haven't changed anything. If you're looking to get in the world 
of a Super Sport, you can do it so cheap with an R6 and have something that's super reliable. Now, of course, if you want a new generation one, you're gonna be paying more. And if you want a brand new one, of course, you'll be in way more. But if you're not picky, you can get some killer deals on old R6s. Now, I got two more reasons for you guys. Second to last one. And I kind of briefly touched on this so far. The lighting setup that I have on this bike is incredible. And I don't think I will ever have a lighting setup on a motorcycle as cool as the one that I have on here. Maybe that's a challenge for myself. But man, I am so happy with what I've done on this thing. So in the in the back, I have a couple things from JL Designs. I got videos on all the stuff I have installed on here so you can go take a closer look. But in the rear, it's uh, an integrated smoked tail light. And you know, on this bike, it's kind of tough because the, the rear tail light, just like the new R1, they use the same tail light. Uh, it's very skinny. So when you have integrated tail lights, yes, it can illuminate one side, but from like far away, you can't really tell which side is blinking. So on top of that, I have those, uh, those not integrated, I have those side uh, turn signals that are tucked into the tail. And what I love so much about them, one, uh, you can splice them in and integrate them with the rest of your lights. Uh, two, they're inset into those like sections of the tail. So when they blink, they illuminate that area. And I just think it's so cool. On the front, you guys know I've replaced the uh, DRLs up here, the, the, the LED strips. Those are replaced with, uh, not replaced, but modified with custom RGB strips. That's one of the new NSXs. I don't think I've seen one of those in person. There's a, a guy that has a company called Intelligent Lighting Systems. He modifies lights on motorcycles. I don't know all, what all bikes he, do, he does, but I know he offers them for more than just the, R, the new R6 and new R1. He modifies your lights to be able to be any spectrum of uh, the rainbow. And uh, now with those new controllers, you can sync it up with an app on your phone. You can have full control on, on it. It uh, responds to music, so you can have it flash and pulse to, to music and different variations. It's really, really awesome. All together, with what I got going on in the rear and what I got going on in the front. I just love the lighting setup on this bike. Reason number last, because <laughs> I have no idea what number I'm on. It's because it's the best 600cc sport bike. I'm sorry. ZX6R? No. CBR600? No. Jixxer 600? No. The R6 is the top dog 600cc sport bike in all the land. If you're gonna get a 600cc sport bike, you get an R6. So go ahead and head on down to the comments. Tell me why I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. That's that's gonna be it for my list. I really appreciate you guys checking it out. I hope you have enjoyed this bike as much as I have. I know that's hard since you guys are just watching it, but I hope I've done at least a little bit to uh, bring you guys along on the experience of owning my R6. It's been an absolute blast owning this thing from day one, brand new. First one in Austin. It's been really cool, it's been fun. And I've had, oh, great times with this bike so let me know what you guys think let me know if there's other stuff that you guys love about it let me know uh your favorite videos that i've had on the r6 and go ahead and hit that like button for me one last like for the r6 of course we'll still have a couple more videos on it but this is the this is the going out video That's gonna be it guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, ring that bell, so you guys can get notified of all the videos. Y'all been awesome, I've been Modernosity. Remember, life's better with horsepower. Keep life lived. I'll see you guys in the next one.